Get your pen and journal ready. It's time for morning meeting. Today's meeting was all about kindness, but I'm not talking about that very surface level, what can you do to be kind to someone today? We all know that it's better to be kind than unkind. I'm not trying to waste your time with writing down one kind thing you can do for someone because that's easy. We're diving deeper than that and digging into how can you be kind to someone you don't want to be kind to. There's a thousand reasons that you might not get along with someone and that's okay. You don't have to, but you do need to practice basic respect and showing kindness to someone who isn't necessarily your favorite person. Now there are boundaries that need to be drawn that if someone is physically harmful to you or hurtful to you or in a dangerous situation, you don't have to show kindness to them because you need to stay far, far away from them. However, there are little disagreements and little personality traits that you might not like in someone else and you can still be kind to them. I always tell them that there are people within my school building that I don't necessarily want to give my time to, but they would never know it because I would never treat them disrespectfully. So your journal prompt today is what do you think the world would be like if everyone chose kindness? What does it look like to show kindness and respect to people that you don't agree with? What can it do for you mentally to have that amount of control over yourself? Fourth grade wisdom. You can disagree in a kind way, just simply tell them that you don't agree. It makes my brain feel better to show kindness instead of hatred. Meeting adjourned.